on Down One Fire, I'm checking out Insa Hosen that's located at Galadari Hotel. So let's enjoy some great Japanese with a fabulous looking guest, Noeline. Fire. We have come to enjoy some Japanese and I'm with this beautiful lady next to me, Noeline, and we're checking out one of her favorite restaurants. Now let me say it right. Ginsa Hosen. Got it. Yay! And yes. it's at the Galadari. Uh, it's so easy to park. That's the most important thing when you go to a restaurant. You really don't want to fight for parking. For parking. Yeah. 100%. And get angry with people. And, this has ample parking and life is so much more blissful then. All right, welcome to the show. We have so much to talk about with this glamorous lady who's seated next to me. So I actually got to know her very recently and she's fun. We were like a straw, fire, boom. Immediate. <laughs> yeah, like it was just flames going off. All right, so you are running quite an interesting beauty corner let's put it that way not like yes. you don't do the very traditional ones that's right you have just modernized everything that's right so let's start about Noelines. now this this okay. little place that you run yes so um initially this is very new as well it's not even a year it's still a baby all right uh the the inception for the concept is um i've been looking i've been in sri lanka for the past six years trying to figure out a perfect place to get your nails done lashes done waxing done at the same place just because um you know the traffic out here yeah. it's crazy you don't Parking. want to do your nails here and then go and lift your That's arms right. somewhere else imagine yeah. that <laughs> yeah. and then be on the road for two hours just for the traffic yeah. and then fight for parking later on That's true. so i was just finding a perfect com like a place that i could get everything done so i've been on the hunt for about six years uh, couldn't really figure out my okay. go-to then i'm like you know what that's it I'm coming up with my own. So go. that's how it just started. And uh, lucky for me, this is like, I did like have the business experience running my own business. Like that just comes in handy with right. my other businesses. So, uh, so I'm like, let's just do it. And it's more of a passion project coming true. And uh, it's going so far. Amazing. Yes. You could have just touched me as well. Because you're a girl. Uh, <laughs> I've seen, I've I told you. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen you do it multiple times. Yeah, 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 you got it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So here's a story. So what's amazing about it is the fact that, okay, so in this industry, it's a very hard industry to be, you know, the fact that, you know, there's so many places that provide all these services. 100%. And how do you try and differentiate all of this? See, the thing is, when, you, when it comes to my staff, the business is new, but all my staff are over 10 years experienced staff. So I think hiring the right people is number one thing to any business. Let it be beauty, let it be marketing, let it be sales, let it be camera. Yay, food. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to leave this here. Yes, that looks lovely. Yeah. Um, so, from where I start. So for any business, having the right people is key element. So mm. I have the right people, right set of people. And number two would be the quality of services and then the quality of products that you are having here. Um, and as long as you maintain it, so, you know, the thing with um, salons over here is um, they come up with the brands and they're like, we're going to use it. But later on, towards the end, they, they're, they're just to cut the cost. Yes. Oh, thank you. 
These are all your favorites, aren't they? Uh, this is my favorite. I think this is the oh, this is the cucumber. Yeah, mm -mm, this is the peanut sauce oh, wow. and crab salad. I don't oh, know if you wow. eat crab, so like this is one of my favorites. But they kind of knew what she likes. They were like, this is your favorite. This I was feeling like chopped liver. Because oh. like... Oh, there's another I'm, one coming. Yeah, that's for you. Because like, oh. I was here like two days ago too. So like, oh. they know my... You set your pace. No, they know my pre-order list. They're All like, right. tack, 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 tack. Uh, it's normal. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank that's you. a peanut sauce. Are you allergic Brilliant. to peanut? No, okay. not okay, yet. <laughs> we'll figure it out today. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, getting the products. Yeah. So like, where I stop. Um, what they do is later on towards the uh, say that you're in the business for a year or two what they do is they're trying to cut the cost mm. you know and that is not something that we are practicing in any of our businesses so i think um, that is one of the key elements so having the right people and having good quality products you need because you're charging so much you want to make sure that you give your 100 percent back as well yeah they shouldn't feel like oh like i spent all that money for like mm, nothing nothing yeah mm -hmm. now you have to get your name oh let's let's cheers to good life all right there you go. So uh, you get your nails done, and you have to have your nails done because you kind of your ambassador. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. So we've got some ombre done today. Okay. Yeah. So. And there's been some great reviews about your nail work in terms of you, people who come there. They're like, oh my Thank god. You means a lot. You should come. You should come try it out. I'll get your nails done. I'll give you like a good glam up. Nail glam. Oh my god, that's the last I need. <laughs> Out of the many things that yeah. you need. <laughs> but um, it's amazing over the fact that uh, it, it's uh, the the timeline of it, over the fact that you can use it for so long. It's yes. so. So how do you like? How did you sort of understand this subject? Because it's not like waking up and saying, "Okay, I'm going to run something like this." But yeah. it's also about having the knowledge in it mm -hmm. and finding and sourcing the best things. Mm -mm. So, so I think um, when it comes to nails, I've been doing my nails since I was 16. So. It's like a part of you. It's in it's, your DNA. Yeah, it's like, and then when a technician, because like I've been doing it for a so like a long, long time. The minute they like they do it, I know if it's done right or not. But like I'm not gonna be like the customer would be like, oh, like file it right. I wouldn't be yeah. that person. But, but like just... I'd always observe. Like I know what's going on. And um, starting a nail business wasn't like oh, it didn't like immediately occur to me like I'm like oh, I'm gonna start it. Ever since I came to Sri Lanka, I've had this thing in my head because I'm like, um, I'm from Canada, so like from like there, the type of nail products or the techniques or the artwork that you get, you can never get anywhere from here. I'll be like, hey, can I have some gold flake, uh, gold flakes on? They'll be like, oh no, madam, like you don't have it. Like it's in the shipment. I'm like, mm, when is the shipment coming? coming you yeah. know. So it's been that. It's like it was like what, and then I was just disappointed at once. I'm like, what? Like can't have that. Like, can't have airbrush ombre. Yeah. I can't have the stones that I want. Like you know, you see everything on Pinterest, but like you can't have anything. Have them here. here. But right now, anything you see on Pinterest, anything you Bring see it. on YouTube. You can have it at my nail salon, mm. whatever you name it. Brilliant. All right, that's, that wraps up our first segment. We're going to get into the food that we have got, yes. and it looks delicious. So we're going to do it off camera over the fact that we, it might just not be the most elegant way of consuming it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. Mm. It's our second segment. We are checking out this great place, and this what I really like is the action station effect. And I really like the fact that we get spoiled by ourselves here. That's right. Yeah, royal treatment today. <laughs> All right. So uh, now we have spoken about your interest in this beauty culture world. Mm -hmm. That's not such an odd word to use. Beauty culture world. Yeah. I don't think anybody anyone would has call ever it. said yeah, that. No, yeah, not that's beauty true. culture world. Yeah. But let's speak a little bit about. Um, 
think he's trying to do something. Okay, let's speak a little bit about your life in Canada. Mm -mm. Uh, you have an interesting love story. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, I kind of know it. So first, let's speak about your life in Canada. Okay. How did you end up there? Uh, my parents actually, we did like a family migration. Okay. So then um, I completed my high school in Canada, then went to university there, and then started working. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, so started working there, and then I met my husband mm. online, now husband online. Mm. And then, um, long story short, I was just here for a visit. I didn't like him at the first shot. Um, I'm like, uh -uh, I'm nah. gonna like get settled with the Sri Lankan boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not where I'm going, I've just come for a holiday here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, so, because he's been so sweet and he has been consistent for seven years. Yeah, perseverance. That's right. Yeah. Seven years. Mm -mm, that's right. So seven years. What he did you do me, to no, him before you left? He asked me out when I was in grade 11 or like, yeah, grade 11. And then he's like, mm -mm, I want to like have something more than just being friends. Because like, well, the backstory of it is my sister went through like a bad relationship in Sri Lanka. Right. And um, one of her friends were like, hey, listen. Aren't you getting distracted by the food? I could see uh, from yeah. your face. I'm like, like, I'm like no, like, I, I want, oh, I want to know the story. I want to know the story. Yeah. So like the smell is just like, okay. Yeah. So anyways, um, so one of my friend's sister, um, she was like, hey, what's going on with your sister? Like, And then I'm like, well, like a whole drama yeah. is going on. Like Facebook has been hacked and all that. It's like, well, we have a friend who can help. Right. I'm like, oh my God, I need help. Well, there you go. And then that was the friend. Like, that I'm sure came a lot right? on his carpet. It was like carpet. Angel, yeah. yeah. So he came in and then because my sister's accounts were all blocked and like, you know, whatever. This, I'm talking 2007 when like Facebook was brand new. Like right. fishing and kiting was like everywhere, you know. And then, um, so he started talking to my sister through my profiles. And like one day, all of a sudden, so all the problems are solved now. He like, he was like really an angel. He helped us out to get the profiles and whatnot. So like, all were good. And then this guy goes like, hey, like, can we be more than friends? I'm like, mm -hmm, can we not? Like, it ain't working. <laughs> so they stopped c completely talking to him because I'm like, mm. Like that's this the last, is not, yeah. Thing. yeah. Because like, not because I didn't like Sri Lankan boys, it's because my sister went through such a horrible. And you have been left experience. with like a bitter taste. Yeah. Oh my god, tell me about it. I'm like never going back there. Mm. Um, no boys there. No. And look at you today. You're living here. Right? Tell I me know. about it. I know. Do you miss, do you miss life in Canada? I actually do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to lie. I do uh, miss the friends over there. My family's there. My sister, my sister's kids. I'm like, I don't have many uh, family. It's just a very, close like, it's just very close. That they're all there. So like, I miss them so much. Oh. Yeah, I do. But is it, is it worth the love? Truly, it yeah. is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> but I guess. that's amazing. You know, people can't be bothered even for seven days anymore. <laughs> seven years. That's like from 2007 to 2014. Mm -mm, he was right. on your case. Yes. And yeah. when did you eventually say yes to him? So this is what happened. So, mm. story bit. So, the whole seven years, he's been sending me flowers for all of my birthdays. Oh. Not a one he missed. Every Christmas, I know I'd be getting a bouquet, right? So he's been very consistent. And then uh, he's been writing songs for me, sending me like little, little things. Uh, but I blocked him through like all my <laughs> social medias and emails. I never saw like the song part, but I've seen like, um, what do you call it? Like the flowers and whatnot, right? So uh, my mom's like, cause like when she knows like I'm single, uh, he was in relationships too, okay? But yet he always had his eye exactly on you. Exactly that. Like, so, I Whoa. had... Whoa! Fireworks! Whoa! Yeah. That is so I extra. should have been known. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> you should have had warning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was extra. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you want to try your food? Yes, I have. Yeah. Although your story is interesting. Yeah, that's okay. You can try your food. <laughs> I think the food and needs its place. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, true. Uh... Okay, I think that's calamari. Mm. Good. Yep. Mm. How do you like it? I think that's a beef. You eat beef? It's hot, hot and nice. Mm -hmm. Do you Why? eat beef though? No. Why don't you eat meat? <laughs> no, really. What do I have? What what's your what would you say is your perfect sauce? For this? Mm. 
Honestly, I'm not a big fan of like these ones. I'm like the sushi girl, but like try with this. Would be okay. nice. Oh, what is that? What is it? Is it pineapple? Potato. It's potato. It's a potato. Then just go with this. It's creamier. I think it will be nicer. Mmm. Yeah. As you could have seen, I'm not good with the chopsticks. Me as good. long as the food goes into my mouth, I'm happy. <laughs> You're like, oh, I like <laughs> one of those. Just use one of those and like get the food in. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so let's, because I need to wrap this love story up with this segment. Okay, let's go, go, go. And Here. then, after seven years, you eventually said yes. No, no, no. I came to Sri Lanka. No, I still didn't say no. Nah, yes. God. I know, I Poor know. Poor man. <laughs> I know. So what I did was, no, I came to England because uh, I was done with my university by then. So like four years, like... It's only the flowers that I've been receiving. And time to time, he used to call me. It's like, hey, Nolin, it's Anushka. I'm like, oh, no. hello. Hang up and block the number. Oh, my God. You're so evil. I know. I was like, trust me, I've had bad experiences. Like, I did not want to fall into but the same. But this poor man. I know. And then he went to Singapore. Like, one of just like, out of, red, like, out of nowhere, I received this call from Singapore number. I'm like, come on, there's Bailey. Oh. Hello, Nolene speaking. It's like, uh, Nolene, this is Anushka. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> blocking. <laughs> You're globally blocking me now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he has been very consistent. So, like, I actually wanted to, because he's been sweet, right? The thing is, I didn't want to lead him on. You yeah, know what true, I'm true. saying? You want like, I didn't want sure. him to invest feelings on me. And, like, I'm not that kind of a person. So, I'm like, hey, listen, like, you keep your feelings. Like, don't invest on me because I ain't going to be the one. And that was that. Like, I was actually, like, saving him from trouble. Like, mm. that was at least my perspective of it, right? So I came down to England, and here was my transit. I was going to go to Australia as mm. well to check out my master's options because I didn't want to do it in North America. I want to do it in England or Australia because, like, yeah, you know, I'm like, of... yeah. I wanted to be on my own, like, have fun. And um, on my, tra like, on my, so transit. still like I was my transit here. And then I called him and I said, I'm like, hey, listen, I, must say, I wrote him an email. I'm like, hey, listen, um, I'm coming down to Sri Lanka. I'd really love to see you. Please don't get me wrong. This ain't going to be like we're dating or anything. It's just, just I want to go out. Yeah. And I just want to go grab a coffee with you and see the person you are. Yeah. And um, he's like, oh, and then like he got all excited. He's like, can you unblock me on WhatsApp? So like Aww. we started talking. It'll be like, like we were very prepared to meet. In a sense, not in a love or yeah, romantic way. It was like just like mm -mm. a friend. I saw him, and I made the first move. I kissed him. Oh, I know, I know. It was like such a. If I was him, I would have been like, move. Like no, I ain't happening anymore. <laughs> After eight years. I know. I'm telling you, women. I'm telling you. So yeah, that's the story. I'm gonna s sit and eat my troubles out of this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you after this. Juicy girl. Welcome back. We are checking out her favorite restaurant, and I must say it's mine too now. Uh, great tasting food. I've also dropped my nappy. Oh, my nappy. <laughs> um, so we have got all these. Well, these are not the usual ice cream. Not because, your type of ice cream. Yeah, you'd say? but the fact that they maintain uh, authentic standards. That's right, hundred yeah. percent. And that makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. And I would like to try everything. I know this is done with. Uh, what do you call that thing? I forgot. It's a seed. Not a seed. Uh, I know this is uh, green tea matcha. Like it's a matcha ice cream. I'm not really sure about these two. But it looks good. Anyway, just to let you know, in terms of uh, what we're talking about, we've spoken about love life, now married, um, what she does. You have to go check out Noeline's. But Please at the do. same time, I would like to speak about you're also involved uh, with Camera LK because. That's right. You married the man at last. I know, right? After all those years. Yeah. See, back then he didn't have the business. Oh, back yeah. then it was just, we, we both like, kind of like got together and started it. Oh. And um, he started it, but like, we kind of, it was like our first baby. No oh. always will be my second baby, but this is camera your first baby. Is first, always first. And she has a pretty office there. He Thank has literally you. got like a storeroom and she has a nice one. <laughs> 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 so let's speak a little bit about Camera LK. It also has a, a great thinking behind it. You all have supported so many people. Mm -mm, that's right. Uh, well, Camera LK, like I said, it was initial start was finding a gap in the market as well and us figuring out that we could be a perfect fit together and uh, giving excellent customer service then again going above and beyond and striving to be better every day until today we have the largest camera showroom here in the freestanding camera showroom in whole Southeast Asia we still are we still haven't forgotten the route you know like we're still striving to be better every day um, so it just goes on and we want to be uh, 
like, I don't know if you know B&H, that's in New York. Okay. Um, so basically, that's like the camera the shop for any photograph out there. We want to be that in South Asia, so that's, that's the amazing. biggest goal. Yes. All right. So now, you know something I wanted to ask you? Six years ago, you came to Sri Lanka. Mm -mm. How have you been settling down? Did it's actually seven years for tomorrow. Oh, it's wow. our anniversary. Anniversary right. time. Yes. So let's speak a little bit about how have you settled in? Because Sri Lanka is so different. Number one, it's hot. Yes. Not like Canada. Yeah. So let's speak a little bit about how life was, like for you to settle in, come to know people, meet people, understand the lifestyle and the and the politics of handling people here? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I was here before, like I was born and raised here too. Yeah. So like I knew, you know, like I knew my ways. But, you but had your prime years were that's there. That's right. So yeah. coming back here was certainly different. Let's do it, dig yeah. in. Yeah, I'm going to start cheers. with, I'm starting with green tea. I've tried it, so I'm just going to go with this. Okay, okay, continue. Where's this sesame? Wait, I... That's a matcha, this is sesame. Mm. We need to yet to figure this out. Mm. Mm. You don't like it, do you? No, it's I nice. see that for your face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. You're not going to like it too. This is nice. You like it's it? Sesame. It's sesame, yeah. It's, it's like one. Palaguli, the, the Palaguli Japanese Pratt. version. That's right. Yeah. It's Palaguli, the Japanese version, which is true. All right, tell me. Where did I stop? You made me forget. You were, uh, your prime was spent there. So yeah, coming back here was certainly different just because uh, here things are very spontaneous, right? Yeah. Whereas there, uh, everything happens on schedule. Like every day I know I go to work, I go to uni, I come home. Uh, it's my gym day, I go to the gym. It's my pool day, I go to the pool, come back home. So very like, very Routine well life. organized. Um, I'd also say it's like, it's like a mechanism. Like you're like a robot pretty much doing the yeah, same true. thing, right? Um, here, it's completely different. Like, I don't even know if I'll be able to go to the gym. Like I have my stuff in the bag, but like, I don't know if I'd yeah, be able to true. go. It's very spontaneous, but it could be probably because with the nature of business I'm in, because like I own my own business. So it's much different. Know. Exactly. Yeah. So it's much different from like and a 9 And also here job. things are very like laid back. Everything is just laid back. Oh yeah, like yeah. in Canada, nobody visits us on a week weekday. Nobody. here. Weekday, every day I have people over, you know? So like, it's very, like, I, mean, I don't even have to invite. I'm like, hey, we're coming over. Like, mm, uh, okay. Like, <laughs> but that's I didn't say they're coming, but sure. <laughs> but you know, uh, like even my friends who are abroad, they always say, so don't they like pre-warn you before they meet you? I'm like, Nobody. no. Yeah. In Sri Lanka, we just go crash houses. That's right. They're that's like, like, that's like one of the things yeah. that I've noticed. Cause like growing up there and coming back here, I was like, I'm like, what? Like people just like, friends just walk in on you? Like, uh, <laughs> And then like, and they never they, leave. Yeah, they never leave. Yeah, and then they, they stay over too. Yeah. Like they're completely okay with that. Like I have a room for boys in my house because like my husband's friends are like all the time it's there. So I've like literally made, because like if not, they're like all over the place. I'm like, men, be in that room. That's your men's den. Like I have a room in no, my house. Because for some odd reason, we Sri Lankans tend to serve dinner at like 12 midnight. Yeah. Dessert by 2.30. And then People like, leave home at four. Yeah. They've come for dinner though, but they leave, have breakfast. No, mine don't leave. They stay over oh, right, and like right. leave the next day morning. If it's a weekend, the whole weekend they're with us. <laughs> so, so it's a yeah. problem, yeah. So but, that's different. Yeah, but have you got, have you, when you met people, when you understood this circle of people, because Colombo is very small, mm -mm. you're still, I'm sure, at your salon, you will always see the same, same set of people. people rotating. Yeah. How do you deal with all of that? I'm kind of liking it, but to be honest, I need to go back home, Canada, to just get to my, to gather my sanity back. So like, I've always, for the past six years, except for this corona year, I've been going Every at year. least at least two times a year, oh, and my parents whoa. come visit me once a year. So, well, like, I more see. More or less Canada. <laughs> you are bringing Canada here. Pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, every year, twice a year, I go home um, to get my sanity back, and I have a few investment properties there. So, just to, like, you know, just like just to, a nudge, nudge, yeah. nudge, like, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but um, past year has been completely different because I've been here, not leaving the country at all whatsoever. Um, it's been quite different and difficult at times because like I miss home to be honest, I miss seeing my family. Um, but then I think people here are so much nicer. Like, you know, like back there, if you go to a restaurant, like say that we're out here, here for lunch or dinner, we share the cost, you know, we split. Here, I've never seen that anyway, ever. ever. There, if it's my birthday party, I'd invite you, but like you'd be spending your part of the food, you know, yeah, like that. But here you pay. 
I pay for everything. Yeah, <laughs> like because, I pay for everything. Yeah, so yeah, that's you, like very different. You, yeah, if you invite me for your birthday, you pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna think twice now when I'm not inviting you for my birthday. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. On that note, um, I'm so happy that we got to. I, well, I got to know you and be able to have you on the show. Likewise. Uh, you look fabulous. I think you have a great sense of style. You carry you. yourself so well. So easy to like, you know sort of, um, what do you call it, gravitate towards you. Ready to mingle yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, we need to wrap things up on the show. Thank you for being on the show. Thank Until you. Until we see you with another great tasting place and a good guest. You have yourself a good one.